Videsh Agar Salam here from PS Media. In this video, I will show you how to change the default what phrase, what phrase parts like WP includes like WP content for plugin and theme parts. And I'll, yes, I want to hide the fact that I am using this Clickmate magazine. This Clickmate magazine chain. I want to hide that. I want others to know the plugins or themes I'm using I want to hide their versions yeah I want to hide these plugins I want to hide these jQuery script versions theme scripts I want to hide the spots and every versions I want the higher I want to hide the fact that I'm running my website on WordPress. To do that, we should install a plugin called WP Hide and Security Enhancer. I have already installed an activity. Here it is, WP Hide. Let's go to rewrite. Here, here is my team says it's click net. I want to change this. Okay. Let's see my magazine. I will say my magazine and CSS file now. Skin dot CSS. Now let's take it out. Save. Let me refresh. Now it changes. Now it is changed from click magazine to my magazine and style dot CSS to skin dot CSS. And now let's go to WP includes here. Yeah, I want to change this WP includes uh, part. I want to change to INC. Okay, save. Hit refresh. Yeah. Here. It is changed to INC from WP inputs. Now let's go to WP content. And I want to change this WP content part. Okay, I want to change it to assets. Okay, set. Refresh to check it out. Here is sense to assets. Now plugins. I want to change the plugin. I want to change this plugins part. Okay. I want to say, for example, add-ons instead of plugins. Okay. And then, okay. For now, click save. Refresh. Here. Now, instead of saying plug, uh, plug in, uh, plugins, now it says add ons. And it also removes the WP content part here. It's now, now it's direct to uh, after your domain name slash your new plugin part. Here it is errors. Now uploads. 
I want to say uh, WP uploads uh, instead of my uploads I want to say files save yeah let's check that out on an image By default, it should be shown like this. Then it will be content slash uploads. By default, it should be like this. The part uh, URL should be like this. But now, for me, it is files plus the file name. Good. Now let's go to comments. Okay, um, for this I want I don't want to change just a little bit. You can change the uh, the form WP comments post the PHP part, but um, just a little bit. Okay, and this. Just on race. Okay, let's give it. Now let's go to generate and rewrite. Generate. Remove WordPress generate meta. WordPress generate meta. Okay. Yes. Remove other generator meta. Yes. Remove the fiddling meta. Yes. 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 Share. Refresh. Now come in fit and other WordPress generated meta are gone. Now the uh, now the source code uh, looks clean. Now let's go emoji. You can hide this emoji script too. Yes. Self. Let me first. Now it's gone. And it looks much, much better than the previous source code. Now it looks clean okay styles here in after after this time there is version 4.72 i want to hide that version remove version yes remove id from link text yes save it is fresh now all versions are gone. Uh, it looks more clean, more button here. Scripts. Okay, here. Let's save up the scripts. Yeah, there is a um, version at the script too. I want to remove that. Yes. Yeah. The use first. Yeah, version version numbers are gone. Going back.
by default here is uh, OM bed code here. Uh, people get you know uh, our website is running WordPress if they can see OM bed here in WP this only class OM bed. So I will just hide it. Save. Request. Now it's gone. Or embed is gone. Headers. Nice. Okay. I'm the bit. Customer. Remove this demo comment. Remove the entire company there. Okay. Leave it. That's it. Now let's take it from the beginning. Okay, it is. It looks much, much, much better than the previous version. Let's take another WordPress run website, WPKIMS. By default, WordPress was called to look, uh, it look like this. Look like this. Yeah. Okay, it looks like this. Lots of lots of steps, but in ours, it's very short, and brief, and clean. That's it. Now, more or less, you hide that your website is running on WordPress, and in the, in the source code look clean. This is how you hide your WordPress website. That's why this plugin is called WP Hide. And it also secures your website. Thanks for watching. And my you know, details are meant for WordPress beginners. And please leave a comment below. And subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.